Hello there, gang, and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behavior, the Earth's Mightiest Video Podcast. So take off your pants, crack a beer, and let's talk toys. Let's talk about 3D printing our own toys. Yeah, <laughs> Hasbro want to keep on raising prices? Well, that's fine. I'll just make them myself. Or will I? Well, that's what we're going to find out with the help of the Creelty 3D printer, or more to the point, the Sonic pad that you can get to go with it. Okay, let's rewind back to the beginning. At the start of this year, the company Creelty, who make 3D printers, contacted me and they were like, Dave, you have a fantastic YouTube channel with a massive following. Toss, toss. How about we send you a 3D printer? You can make a video on it, let the people know what you think. And I was like, free stuff? Yeah, go on then. So I got it and I did the video and I told you guys I would come back and let you know how my 3D printing journey is going and when am I going to be releasing my first wave of model behavior action figures? Well, we're not there yet. However, we have got one step closer with the Sonic pad they sent me. Before I go into that, I'm going to give you a little word from this video sponsor. No one. Yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. Creelty have given me this stuff, but no money has changed hands here. I, I, I got no dog in this race. I'm going to tell you what it's about straight up because that's how we roll on this channel. Model behavior can't be bought because no one's offering to. I'm open to offers. So yes, the Creelty Sonic Pad. What I have learned through my 3D printing journey is that this is not for beginners. Or well, everyone has to be a beginner. So it is for beginners, but you've got to be prepared to go all in. You know who can make like really good 3D printed stuff? Massive nerds. You have to be a an uber 3D printing nerd to really get the gist out of this because it's it's a lot. OK, I thought naively when I first got this printer, it was going to be like the freaking replicator on Star Trek. You know, I was just going to type in apocalypse action figure. V -v 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 Boom. No, nah, -ah. it, th there's so much to learn and understand and take on board. But with the right tools, you can get good results, such as this Sonic pad. Let me tell you a little bit about what this thing does. So we have the Creelty Sonic Pad. Now, it was a bit of a surprise when it turned up, to be honest, because I had no idea how it could be of any use to the printing process. But I dove in and attempted to figure it out. And in my attempts, I did realize that it is not idiot proof. And that is a big barrier to entry for me on just about anything. Is it idiot proof? No? Well, <laughs> I might be struggling. So my first bit of advice is, for the love of God, Read the instructions real carefully, because if you miss a step, then you got it, it just it, just go real carefully with it, step by step. Basically, be patient. I'm not a patient person, so this wasn't a natural marriage. So the question is, what is the Sonic Pad? Well, I'll read you what the actual company blurb has to say. This is the Creelty Sonic Pad open source 3D printing pad based on Clipper. Yep, I literally have no idea what that means. It features printing speed up. Okay, that's good. It can be connected and upgraded with ease. Great. Easy to run out the Clipper firmware in Sonic Pad and supports personalized requirements. What's Clipper? Feature 2, intuitive UI and real-time preview. The Sonic Pad supports sliced model preview when using Creelty Printer, Utilimaker Cura, Prusa Slicer, and Super Slicer. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around Clipper. It features a 7-inch color touchscreen that unlocks strong computing capability. Oh, so it's a little iPad. Okay, that's all you had to say. It's, it, it's a little iPad. Feature 3, plug and play. Supports and is compatible with an FDM printer which comes with a USB interface. With the included configuration manual, it is easy to set things up. <laughs> no. So basically the gist of this thing is it's just more computing power. It, it, it gives the whole system more oomph. That's, that's my technical term. Gives your 3D printer more oomph. 
So let's just figure out what Clipper is. Clipper is a 3D printer firmware. It combines the power of a general purpose computer with one or more microcontrollers, and it's a free software. So the Creelty printer initially runs on a software called Marlin, and basically Clipper is a much, much faster version of that. So that's good. Also, according to all the nerds in the online community, Clipper is like much more preferred. It's, it's like the go-to one. So the people who are really into 3D printing, this is what they want to use. So originally installing Clipper required a Raspberry Pi. And I only know what that is because my friend used it to put a whole bunch of video games on my mini SNES, which is awesome. But now that's actually really difficult to do. Apparently a Raspberry Pi is insanely expensive now these days. Thanks a lot, 2022. So that's why we've got the Sonic Pad to actually do that for you. So in that regard, it actually is a really good upgrade. Okay, so a real big pro for the Sonic Pad, and this isn't like spiel or anything, this is actually what we found from all the experimenting, is it's really, really good for calibration. Helps you line up the plate that the things get printed on. Because again, I didn't even realize what like a big deal that is, but of course it is. Like it's tiny, minute things. So if it's not leveled right, it ain't gonna work. But if you wanna print like a big, badass sentinel head like we can see here it's got to be lined and leveled up perfectly and you can use the pad to do that to within like like the most precise detail that's really useful and speaking of which this is a really big thing the sonic pad has a sensor that will actually monitor the print as it goes so if there is like a little knock or a change or an angle it can detect it and then make adjustments on the fly almost scarily clever. Don't like how clever that is, but it does it. It's very impressive. And another really big pro for the Sonic Pad is that it brings the printing time way down, like way down to the point where a an eight hour print can actually be knocked out at about three hours. So that's massive. And of course, what you do, you do lose. You sacrifice a little bit of detail with that kind of speed enhancement. However, if you're just creating something that's quite basic, like you're making a, a bracket or something that isn't too, you know, detail dependent, that's, that's a massive leap forward. So that, that's really good. For example, if you're making a Funko Pop style Venom figure, that doesn't require huge amounts of intricate detail. You can jack up the speed, knock this guy out in no time. That's pretty cool, even for a Funko Pop. For the cons, well, the biggest one is that you have to be a massive nerd. And by that, I actually, that's just a massive nerd on my scale. What that actually means is you have to be someone who has a tiny amount of patience and general rudimentary understanding of how things work. Not this guy. I had to watch so many YouTube videos from other creators to get an idea of how it all works and is put together. Because the instructions, they're not the most user-friendly in the world. But fortunately, there's a bajillion different videos you can watch to guide you through the process. <laughs> and also, as I said before, just follow the instructions like minutely. Because if you, if you like plug something in, before it tells you to plug it in, then you're probably gonna have to go back to the start and just redo everything. So just, just slow down, all right? That's mostly advice for me. Another part is that you actually have to print your own bracket for the sensor to go on, which might seem a bit like, well, come on, like I gotta print my own thing that doesn't come with? But in fairness, that's because this works with so many different types of printers that they couldn't really supply you with all the different brackets. So yeah, you've got to print your own one. That's kind of, it's understandable, but at the same time, it's like, come on. So overall, I found that the Sonic Pad is a worthy addition to the printing process. Basically, it kind of supercharges the 3D printer. It, it makes it work faster, harder, smarter. I'm almost quoting Kanye West. Better not do that. That's going to be a very time relevant reference. So yeah, it, it's a good addition. And I think from what I've seen, especially from feedback from other people in the community watching other videos, generally this Sonic Pad gets a big thumbs up. So it's a good thing. But the real question of this video was, can you print your own action figures? No, not yet. We really no. We're not. We're, we're not there yet at all. We we can we can print like big 
blocky things, you know? But, but it takes so much learning and understanding and setup to have like a real impressive 3D printing establishment that like that's, that's next level kind of stuff. If you want to make 3D printing your hobby, Holy potatoes, you can do that. I mean, look at some of the cool stuff. Look at look, look how intricate this awesome Spider-Man web head. Literally, web head. There you go. This is wicked. And I don't think something this intricate and this nicely done could have been made without the Sonic Pad attachment with the setup that I have, which is very rudimentary, like where it's placed and put together. So yeah, that's cool. I've also got like this really neat, of all the things, this little infinity cube, I freaking love this. <laughs> this will entertain me for hours. Then, keeping it Marvel, we've got a smaller scale Oscorp crate. This is kind of cool. I like this. This is more sort of like, I don't know, very small little action figures. You, you could make a massive 112 scale one if you wanted to. Just takes a lot of resin and a lot of time. And then we've got a spider style figure stand as well. Again, really cool, really good fun. So as far as the Sonic Pad goes, then if you're hardcore into your 3D printing, then that's gonna really be a great addition to add to it. For me personally, I think this is where my 3D printing journey is gonna come to an end. Because it's just, you gotta be all in, man. You can't do it by halves. And this is not, a, 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 this is, I'm at the bottom of a ladder that I don't wanna climb. <laughs> I would rather, People with more skills and patience can make these things for me and then I can get them in exchange for money. I like how that system works. So guys, that does it for my review and feedback on the Creelty 3D printing Sonic Pad. It's, it's a good little bit of kit. If that's the kind of thing that you're hardcore into, you wanna like beef up your 3D printing potential, then it's a great thing to have. For me, I'm like, okay, this is very involved little too rich for my blood, but I appreciate it. And I appreciate Creelty sending this thing out to me. But I gotta say, if they contacted me again and were like, yo, Dave, we've got this other new thing. I'd be like, whoa, it's, it's cool. I'm good. <laughs> you know? But yeah, for all of you 3D printing folks out there, it's a great little addition to have. So there are some links in the description so you can go and check those out. And I've also put some links for other YouTube creators videos that I've used for like sourcing and references for me to better understand. So guys, that does it for my 3D printing journey. What do you think? I know that we do have some 3D customizers out there. What are your experiences with creating your own action figures and more to the point, diorama props? That's what it seems best suited for. So again, comment below, let me know. And until next time, Keep displaying model behavior.